feel like a woman feel sexy feel sensual well i feel i'm getting better with makeup too like this is like given this is given i'm back to my channel i started with um, moisturizing my face and i'm using my primer from milani i'm using a concealer for correcting my pores and i'm going to blend it I'm going to apply it under my eyes where I have a little dark circle. I'm going to my brows using my brush to brush it off. And I'm taking my pencil to draw some arc on it. that the hair on my brows are a lot I had to take my demaplaning blade to scrape off excess hair from my brows to make it look really sharp and that's what I'm doing here so I'm using a light a light shade of my concealer to define my brows under my eyebrow I'm just like taking it from the tip to the tail of my brow and I'm gonna apply it above my brows as well to give it more definition and I'm also gonna blend it out Looks like I did a good job on my brows. I think I'm still. I'm gonna proceed after I'm done with my makeup to just blend everything out. I'm gonna go to my eye lid for my eye makeup using a very light shade of my concealer for concealing my my eye lid um, and to give more coverage and to make my eye makeup stay that will stay longer than the usual and give it more definition. I started with a dark, really dark shade of brown, you know, like kind of like smoky. Then I'm taking um, a dark red um, shade as well in my inner eye area, or will I say the socket part of my eyes, and I'm blending it out with the dark shade. Then I'm taking my white to just clean out the um, tip of my eyelid yeah and taking a lighter concealer to just give it a very bright look i'm trying to get this crease crease look so I'm taking a light concealer and i'm blending it out as well i took an orange or nice and light really bright eyeshadow i i used yellow first to just blend out the concealer applied it and I'm just stroking out the corner of my eyes and I'm taking my graphic liner I, I, I had to use the color white so that to give it this outstanding um, when I say design or art so I'm just giving it this dot just starting with dots so that it's gonna give me more idea on what to do right now and to avoid mistakes so I just did about four dots and I really didn't know how this idea came to me but I decided to just 
give it a flowing um, look I just like in or it looks like um, three M's or three N's so that's what I'm doing here I'm I think it's looking good I told myself that if it doesn't look good I'm going to wipe off my makeup and start over but I'm glad that this look is actually it's giving kind of like it's already popping I don't know I just like it so it's just give me more motivation to to keep um defining it I'm using a dark eyeliner to give it this cut look it gives me more definition on my eyes So after the eyeliner, I'm going to apply my foundation, my Zikel True Foundation. Well, when I applied the foundation, it was looking orange, not really orange. It looked really sharp on my skin tone, but I just found a way of blending it, blending it on my skin to really look nice. So just keep on watching to see how it came about. I was a bit skeptical, to be honest, while I was applying this foundation. I am using my concealer here which is a bit um, bright and I'm contouring my nose with a dark concealer and my my cheekbone I'm contouring my cheekbone with a darker shade contouring the tip of my nose and my nose grid with the same shade as my under eye and I'm blending it out I'm trying to carefully blend it out and not like rub it on my skin just pat and I'm using a damp I'm using a damp foam to blend the concealer on my skin my makeup spray from Zikel. I use the blush from my eyeshadow palette which is from Zikel. This blush is so nice. I use the red part and I try blending in my damp blending foam. I use powder to press in the powder on my skin. I don't know why I like, I like rolling my eyes sometimes. Maybe because I'm scared that I may get powder into my eyes. But then I am um, putting the powder again really under my eye just to cancel out the crease and I don't even have crease, more like dark circle, a little bit of dark circle under my eye and I'm kind of liking the way it's looking, I'm lining my inner eye, lining it with um, the normal kajal that we use and it's actually like giving me a very nice definition in my eye but I know that cleaning up the makeup is always really hard that's why I don't always use kajal so I'm taking my lip pencil eye pencil lip pencil which is the dark brown shade to line my lip got this lipstick from the market where I made my hair I was just passing by and I saw a shop where they were selling makeup and I'm like, okay in the market and I just stopped by to buy this color this shade is so nice and I think I'm liking how it's it's like transitioning so I'm taking my highlighter I really don't do this all the time but I, I just decided to try it to give me this sweet look and I'm um, highlighting my cheek 
cheekbone, my nose bridge, and I like what I'm seeing. Taking my lip blush right now, which is going to give me the ultimate shine that I need for my lips. And this is the final look. Let me just cut, let me just come closer. Come closer. Oof. I love this. This is giving me everything, giving me the look, the vibe, the energy, you know, the sexiness. Um, I think I'll just continue doing more makeup videos because I love the way I feel when I make myself look really nice and this way. So thank you for watching to the end. Goodbye. Take care. Bye.